I don't even need to worry about uh, low gas prices, Carla, because I'm running everywhere these days. So pish posh on that. Of course, uh, as I've been telling you guys over the last uh, several months, I've been training for this big race in San Diego uh, alongside the folks at Team in Training in support of the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society of Canada. Uh, and I'm not doing it just by myself. I'm very lucky to have an incredibly supportive team uh, with me. Of course, uh, one of the people who will be running alongside me, or I guess perhaps ahead of me, depending on how or things behind. are going <laughs> in that particular day, uh, Lane Murray, thank you very much for coming in bright and, well, not really bright, rainy and early here on on this Friday and of course uh, obviously I, 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 I'm, I'm in awe of you because you have a, a very strong connection to this cause uh, you're you're a survivor yourself um, just tell us a little bit about your story like when, when you first found out how you found out okay well uh, how I found out I guess it was a year process I uh, went to a few doctors over the course of a year and had noticed a lump in my collarbone area here and got it checked out but of course no other symptoms so um, I wasn't sent for any testing or anything like that and after going to several doctors my current family doctor actually sent me for some testing and that got the ball rolling and uh, next thing you know I'm told well we suspect it might be lymphoma at that point I didn't actually know what lymphoma was <laughs> so I went home and did a google search and I'm like oh cancer <laughs> okay we're pretty serious but now yeah. of course uh, we're coming up on a, on a pretty significant milestone for you yes. this year aren't we yeah so it was 2008 that I was diagnosed and so it's been uh, upcoming five years uh, September will be my five-year cancer-free anniversary so it was Hodgkin's lymphoma that I had and uh, underwent six months of uh, chemo treatment and here I am training for a marathon now <laughs> yeah, raising <well>, money. <laughs> and you know that seems like a, a pretty interesting leap to you know to, 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 to take that jump and, and, and jump into this marathon I guess where how did you find out about this and uh, why is this the route that you're taking to help promote the cause? How did I find out? Uh, my cousin actually did this marathon, marathon in San Diego when I was first diagnosed, so that's how I uh, found out. And uh, I guess what, uh, for myself, a big part of it was when I was going through uh, treatment, I never ever had that thought that I would die. And uh, I don't know how many people can actually say that. So the prognosis for me was really, really good. Um, treatment was, you know, fairly uncomplicated. And, uh, you know, that's my hope is that as we raise money and continue to uh, do more research into new and novel treatments that uh, there will be more and more people who, when they receive a diagnosis like this, don't have that fear of the worst and can focus on getting better and can focus on the treatment and uh, remain positive because there's a you know good outcome at hey. the end. And there, there are a lot of people, of course, uh, being diagnosed with this. I they, uh, one Canadian every 33 minutes diagnosed with a blood cancer. Mm -hmm. uh, 76 minutes, one dies. Uh, now let's get to the marathon. Uh, obviously, uh, that's coming up very soon. How would you describe what we've been doing so far? Because we started <laughs> off and it was pretty miserable. Well, when we started off, off, it was okay. It was only six kilometers. <laughs> <laughs> yes, six six kilometers, but it was also like minus 20 outside. Yes, yeah, right, so I forgot about the cold. <laughs> yeah, so, so quickly we forget. But yep. uh, how are you feeling now? We did 38K the other week, right? Yeah, that was our peak run. Um, every once in a while, you get to those points where you shed a single tear. <laughs> um, can barely make it through, but you know what? Having a team, having uh, you, having the others, um, everybody there to, to support you and kind of motivate you to keep going that does does help a lot oh yeah I, I unequivocally uh, of course uh, you, by the way we'll just uh, if we can Parker just show uh, some of the team here uh, this is uh, Lane's husband and another one of our running members uh, that's Jill <laughs> Morris uh, she's uh, one of the three of us who'll be doing a full 42k in San Diego uh, we're just we're letting her rest up in the corner right now as she prepares for that uh, now obviously a big part of this is the fundraising component and yeah. uh, just tell us a little bit about how you're doing and what uh, you know how they can contribute so uh, yes, I've been uh, raising money. We're all raising money. Mm -hmm. um, my uh, new goal is up to eighteen thousand dollars. Amazing. Um, not quite there yet. So still looking for some more donations to keep uh, those fundraising dollars are coming in for research and for patient services. Um, so how they can donate? Are we going to be putting up a link? Or? I think maybe <laughs> we will. If not, we're definitely going to put it on Twitter. Uh, of course, teamandtraining.ca. Uh, click on the Prairies link and you can look up uh, Lane Murray, myself, or Jill Morris and uh, definitely make a contribution to this incredibly worthwhile cause. Worth noting, 74% of what you donate goes directly to research. That's one of the highest percentages that you see with respect to these types of organizations. Of course, Jill, thank you for coming out. I got my running shoes on, you I don't, don't. <laughs> so I guess we're just going to have to pass on that this morning. Uh, 
course, we'll be uh, in San Diego next week. That is June 2nd. I look forward to that. Uh, we are going to continue breakfast television coming up after the break. I'll be there with news, Michelle with weather, Carla with traffic, Bridget and Ryan doing what they do when BT continues on this Friday morning.